Do you have a WordPress website and want to design your entire theme? You can do that using the Elementor Theme Builder. And in today's video, I will show you exactly how to do that step by step. Hi, I'm Lydia and on this channel, we talk about social media marketing and growing your online business. So if you're interested in these topics, make sure to click the subscribe button below. In today's video, I will share exactly what you can design using the Elementor Theme Builder and how to use it to design a full theme for your website. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is is obviously get Elementor Pro, which you can find the link for in the description below. It is only $49.99 per year for one website, so I believe it is worth it because it gives you the option of customizing your theme the way you want it. Then after downloading your zip folder, you need to go to your plugins in WordPress and upload your plugin, and then go to Elementor after activating the plugin and connect your Elementor account for you to review that connection and be able to use Elementor Pro. The next thing you'll need to do is to install install as your WordPress theme the Hello Elementor theme that is completely free and that you can use as a base for the theme that you're going to build with the Elementor theme builder. So you can do that from appearance, themes and look for that theme in there or download it from the Elementor website. Next you need to go to templates under Elementor and click on theme builder. With the Elementor theme builder you'll be able to customize your website's header, footer, archive page, product archive page, single post, single page, search results page, error 404 page, single product page and more. So you will design exactly what you want to show up when people will click on those types of pages. So let's take each one at a time. The best thing about using the theme builder is that you edit each element separately and individually and then at the end of the customization the theme will show up as a whole. So that element that you create in the element or theme builder will be set as your theme's header or footer automatically without you having to do anything else. Now let's start with creating the header and you can start by clicking the plus sign next to header in the theme builder. The first thing I suggest doing when you want to design your header for your website is to add a block and then add a menu on one side and a social menu on the other. That menu can be a short menu that you can customize from appearance and menus and it can include pages such as my account, privacy policy and contact, so not the main menu. You can also change the color of the block by going going on it and then going to background and changing the color to fit your brand. You can also change the font of the menu and choose your social icons for the social menu. At the top you can also add a shop announcement, add a link or add more text. For the header, after that you can also include your logo by dragging and dropping the image and add your logo without background that you can center or place in the left side of your website, right side of your website or wherever you want it to show. Next for the header you can add your main menu and a search bar if you want to or the cart option. You can also choose to customize the menu block by adding a different block and then changing the theme to a cloud theme, mountains theme or something that you you want to customize it to. Next, let's work on the website footer. For that, you can firstly add a custom code in which you add your Instagram feed. You can do that using the plugin listed in the description. So that will mean that your Instagram feed will show up on any page on your website because it is part of the footer of the theme. Then the website footer can contain different menus that you can choose or you can add your logo as well, you can add your social icons, a bit of text, and at the bottom you can have the copyright text. For the single post template, you can choose how a blog post will look on your website. They pretty much look very basic for any website with a sidebar and just the content on the left side or the right side. But you can customize it using one of the Elementor Pro templates or you can customize it using your own template that you create right now. So you can choose how you want your blog post to look on your website by using this theme builder. So you can showcase a sidebar, text, images, a slider, even products and more. Then the single page can be used to design any landing page that you want. It can be a landing page for your services, it can be one for your membership site, it can be one for one of your products. So again, you can customize it the way you want it or you can use one of the Elementor Pro templates to design your page. Just switch the images, text and colors with your brand colors. Next, the archive page will be the page that will showcase how your blog post will look or how your blog will look. 
And for that, you can add a header, you can add the categories at the top so people can browse your blog by category. And then you can choose how you want your blog posts to be displayed, either in squares or larger images. You can choose to design it the way you want it to be. And if you want to add anything else in between the categories or anything else. For the search results, it will be like basically arranging an archive page. But then again, that can be without the categories, without a header. Just add some text saying that it is the search page and then the search results. For the single product page, this is a great option to customize your products and how they will look in your WooCommerce shop. So you can add an existing shop page that Elementor has or design your own. You can choose where you want the product title to be, the photos, the description, the price, where the add to cart button will be, the reviews testimonials or anything else you want to add that you want to showcase the benefits of your product to your audience. For the product archive page, this will be the page that will showcase your product, so the shop page. You can add filters, a header, again shop by collection or by category, and you can choose to display your product in any way that you want with the multiple options that you have from Elementor. And lastly, if you customize your error 404 page, that will show up instead of the basic one, and you can make it so so it is branded, so it is showing people other links where they can go if that page on your website is no longer available. So when you will have a broken link on your website, it will not just lead people to a random page, but it will lead them to another page full of information that you can offer to your audience so they won't leave your site, but instead stay and find what they're looking for on your website, maybe purchasing your products or services. So use your brand colors for that too, your images for the design, graphics, elements, and more. So there you go, this is how you use the Elementor Theme Builder to customize your entire website theme. This will make your website stand out, be unique, and attract more viewers and customers. If you've enjoyed this video and it helped you out, don't forget to leave it a like and subscribe down below for more such videos every single week. You can also follow me on Instagram at lydia.incomingsuccess for more tips on growing online with social media. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you in my next video.